How's it going guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be going over a new feature in Premiere Pro called Auto Ducking. Now what is ducking? Ducking in audio means that you lower the level of music or dialogue and you let the other music or dialogue take over. So you can imagine if you have a long series of voiceover audio and you want to add a background music and you want the background music to go up and down when there's uh, no speaking parts, this feature will allow you to easily do that without having to manually keyframe those audio levels. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, but make sure you stay to the very end because there's a few features when you're working with this thing that you have to keep in mind in order to get to right levels, whether you're ducking for music or sound effects. But as always, guys, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out. And with that, let's get into this video tutorial. So I'm inside Premiere Pro here, and what I have is a few different audio tracks going on and in audio track one we have voiceover in audio track two we have music and in audio track three we have sound effects and the first thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to assign these audio clips as certain things so the first step in doing this is we'll switch over to the audio workspace and to the right you'll see a different options so say if you click on the audio clip here, what you can do is assign this as a dialogue piece. So this basically tells Premiere, hey, this is an audio uh, dialogue clip. And same with these. So we'll just select these and click dialogue. That way Premiere Pro knows these are dialogue clips. And same thing with this, we'll want to assign it the music clip. And if we zoom out here and click on this bottom, we'll assign this sound effects. And these clips I just pulled from a previous podcast episode that I edited last year. Feel free to go check it out. Link's down in the video description. It's a really neat show. Talk with a lot of video professionals on their careers and stuff. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be editing just a few clips from that piece to show you an example. So we have intro music. And then it goes into the intro of the podcast. So what we essentially want to do is make the music duck. So when you click on the music track, you'll notice an, a ducking feature in the right panel. And you want to check it. And uh, under duck against, you have a few different options. So for duck against, what you can choose is dialogue. And there's other options, duck against other music, sound effects ambience or non-tagged clips, essentially clips that don't have an assignment to them. When we click dialogue, there's three different options that you can choose from sensitivity, a duck amount, and fades. So the sensitivity is basically how sensitive the ducking is towards the assigned duck against feature. So if you increase this, it will have a high sensitivity, and if you decrease it, it'll have a low sensitivity. It basically won't duck as often. The duck amount is essentially just the decibels of how much it will duck, and the fades is basically just how long the fade is in between the ducking, so how it goes in and out of the duck, how long that takes. And for voiceovers, these are the optimal settings that I like. I usually change sensitivity to 6, duck amount to around negative 16. Now this is assuming that your audio levels here are peaking at negative 6, so you know if we solo this and play it back you can see that it is around negative six. And for fades, I like probably no less than 600 for audio. And once you have your settings, you'll click generate keyframes. And what this will do is add keyframes to that music track in your timeline. And now you can see new keyframes as it ducks the levels automatically in between the speaking points of the sequence. And then it dips back up again. First of all, when it comes to wedding editing, I like to say wedding. Um, anyway. And this goes into our second point. So the other thing you can do is not only do dialogue, but you can do sound effects. So say if this was solely just a background music track, what we can do is just change the audio gain to maybe something like negative 20, that way it's way in the background. And what we'll do is actually change the duck against to sound effects. 
and we'll change the phase to maybe 300. And we'll also uncheck dialog. That way it doesn't really matter what the um, what is happening with the dialog and we'll click generate keyframes. And what you'll notice is we have this background music. It's a pleasure to have you. First of all, when it comes to wedding editing, I like to say wedding. Um, <laughs> anyway. And there you have it. So we have this background music and then it ducks against sound effects only without the audio. And you can combine these two, you know, if you click back on here and you click dialogue and you click generate keyframes, it will generate around both for both the sound effects and the dialogue. So as you can see, it really depends what type of project you're working on. If you have sound effects, dialogue, if you intend for the music track to be background music or leading music, it all really comes down to just messing with the controls. These are the optimum settings that I use. And if you're curious guys on where I got the music track for this video, feel free to stay tuned for Thursday's video where I go over the top free music places to get royalty free music for especially social media so be sure to tune in this thursday to see that video now that does it for this video guys thanks so much for tuning in i hope this has helped you if you want to learn more about premiere pro i have a playlist for you guys i'll link it right up here feel free to go check it out thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time